Welcome back to Origami for Kids. In this video, you're going to learn how to fold a super cool origami parrot. We hope you guys enjoy this video. Get, you're going to need a square sheet of origami paper. And the first thing you're going to do is fold it in half into a rectangle. Then you're going to unfold and then fold it into the opposite rectangle. Next, you're going to unfold again and then fold it in half into a triangle. Then you're going to unfold again and fold into the opposite triangle. You're going to unfold again and using the creases we've just created, you're going to fold a square on top of another square. You're going to fold the left and right sides into the center crease. Next, fold the top triangle down. Then fold everything back to place and then you're going to open up those two triangle folds and then you're going to open up the paper. Next, you're going to fold two long triangles right next to each other. So lightly begin folding and it should fall into place. Then, when you're done, fold down the triangle to get a rhombus shape like so. Then, you're going to flip it over. And then you're going to fold back the, the right hand side to get this shape. And then, you're going to put your finger into the left fold and then you're going to open it up and fold it into a triangle like so. Now we're going to repeat this step on another side. So if you open the fold and then fold to the right, you'll get another shape like this. Then you're going to put your finger inside and then fold down to create a triangle like we had just created. Then you're going to fold the right side of the triangle on top of the left. Next, you're going to fold the right side of the triangle on top of the left side and then you're going to fold the bottom right hand corner into the center crease. Then you're going to unfold both of those folds and then you're going to open up the paper slightly and then you're going to fold down from the bottom up and then you'll get another mini rhombus with a triangle top and what you're going to do is fold down that triangle part then we're going to repeat this step on the other side so again, you're going to fold the two bottom sides into the center crease. Then after folding, you're going to unfold. 
then you're going to slightly fold up the paper to create another rhombus. And then once you're done, you're going to fold down the top half. Then you're going to fold the right half on top of the left half. Next, you're going to flip over your paper and then fold the bottom up. Then you're going to flip it over again and then open up to this fold. Then you're going to see that triangle that we had folded down before and you're going to begin to pinch it from both the left and right hand sides. And then once you're done, you're just going to fold it back in. Then on the other side, we're going to repeat this step. So you're going to pinch from both the left and right hand sides until it's folded down flat. When you're done, open up to this rhombus. Next, from the top part of the rhombus, you're going to fold it from both sides into the center crease. Then you're going to fold the whole right half down and then repeat. Then you're going to go to the left side and then you're going to again fold that one side into the center crease. Then you're going to open up back to the middle rhombus. Then you're going to flip it over and then from the bottom of the larger rhombus you're going to fold from both sides into the center crease. And make sure that you tuck it in all the way into the center crease. When you're done, you're going to repeat these folds again from both sides. Return to those two little triangles we had tucked in before. Now go find them again and then now you can pull them outward. Now go find the other triangle and do the same thing. Next, we're going to fold our paper in half. So as you can see, the body of the parrot is now emerging. Next, you're going to peel the paper down at an angle to create each of the wings. We can later adjust these to get the perfect angle. Next, you're going to fold down the middle paper that was left and then you're going to fold it back in half. Then you're going to fold down at an angle and then you're going to unfold and then using that crease we've just created, you're going to fold the paper inward and then you're going to fold the end of the paper down just as we had done and then you're going to open and then fold the paper inward again. So we've just created the parrot's head and now to finish off its 
beak, you just have to add a little bit of a curve and fold into the tip of its beak. Now for the final step, we're going to push into the parent right about there to give it some curve. So as you can see, you just poke your finger in and press down on the body of the parent and it'll have a slight curve to its body. And now you're done. This is your super cool origami parrot. We hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please give us a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.